During Advent, I meditated on a fabulous book by Joseph Ratzinger titled The Blessings of Christmas. He makes a series of reflections on St. Luke's nativity passages, in particular, this evening's gospel and the angel's hymn to the shepherds. Glory to God in the highest and peace to men who enjoy his favor. He explains that the hymn contains a single word, a single criterion that moves people today more than ever. Peace. People yearn for peace. Peace, he states, is more than just the absence of war or conflict or difficulty. Peace denotes well-being. It denotes, it means human affairs or relationships are what they should be. It means trust and brotherhood roll the evening. I like that. Roll, trust and brotherhood roll the evening, like tonight. This reminded me of all our hard work in this territory in particular in our fraternal life. How good God is to help us maintain relationships with each other that make us better priests and apostles. We know peace isn't achieved passively. Rather, it requires work and decision and sometimes taking risks in the pursuit of what is good, what is true, charity. Peace is putting God first. Glorifying God, as the angels teach us. Glory to God in the highest, and peace among men who find favor with him. On December 25th, 165 BC, Judas Maccabeus boldly and courageously remove the altar of Zeus from the desecrated temple of Jerusalem. December 25th was the pagan feast of the king of Syria, who was, who was referred to as Zeus, a god. Hence, December 25th, became the date of the cleansing of the temple, the day on which the glory of God, which had been trampled underfoot, was reestablished. The suffering and problems and persecutions of the people of Israel did not cease. However, God began to be honored in a new way. With the birth of Christ, the temple is truly cleansed. Christ has truly done what Judas sought to do in vain. The Christ child, the Prince of Peace, calls us to do the same, fathers and brothers. Friends, Redding Christie members, 
to banish the pagan idols from our lives and from our communities so his peace may reign. The peace that comes from putting our affairs in order. Putting our relationships in order. First, first with Christ. When Christ is made the center and we see all things relative to him. Tranquilitas ordinis says... St. Augustine, the tranquility of order. Let's conclude with the words of St. Paul in the second reading, where he really gives us a recipe, or better yet, spiritual direction for attaining peace. Paul says, what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God and all our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world while we are waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Fathers and brothers, friends, may peace reign in the legion. May trust and brotherhood always rule the evening.